Let's take a look at the lesson, add two mixed fractions. It says, evaluate. Seven and four sixths plus 10 and one sixth is equal to a number. So we have seven and four sixths plus 10 and one sixth, four sixths plus one sixth is five sixths. 7 plus 0 is 7, 0 plus 1 is 1, so 17 and 5 sixths. Here we have 2 and 4 sixths plus 6 and 1 sixth. 4 sixths plus 1 more sixth would be five sixths. Two plus six is eight. So the answer is eight and five sixths. Let's look at this one. Seven and three sixths plus two and one sixth plus ten and one sixth is equal to a number. So let's write this one out. Ten and one sixth plus seven and three sixths plus two and one sixth. We always start with our fractions first in case we need to make a new whole number. One sixth plus three sixths plus one sixth. So I think one plus three plus one, that would be five sixths. Zero plus seven plus two is nine. One plus zero plus zero is one. Nineteen and five sixths. Next we have six and two sixths plus seven and two sixths plus nine and one sixth. So six and two sixths, seven and two sixths, nine and one sixth, add them all together. Two plus two plus one is five. And all of these denominators are six, which means the bottom will be six. Five sixths. Six plus seven plus nine. Well, I know six plus seven is 13 and nine more would be 22. 22 and 5 sixths. Here we have 2 and 1 sixth plus 7 and 1 sixth. One sixth plus 1 sixth is 2 sixths. 2 plus 7 is 9. We have 9 and 2 sixths. I do see that we need to reduce this fraction. We can divide the top and bottom by the same number. And this fraction will still have the same value. It will just be shown in a different way. So we can divide the top and bottom by two. Two divided by two is one. Six divided by two is three. So nine and two sixths is the same as nine and one third. And our answer is right there. We have four and two fifths plus four and one fifth. Start with our fractions first. Two fifths plus one fifth would be three fifths. Four plus four is eight. Notice we add our fractions first, just in case we need to make a new whole number. Then we add our ones. So eight and three fifths. I see the answer right here. Here we have 10 and one third plus seven and one third. Notice I wrote them in a different order than written here, but with addition, it doesn't matter what order you add your numbers, your answer will still be the same. 
one third plus one third is equal to two thirds. Zero plus seven is seven. One plus zero is one. Seventeen and two thirds. Seven and two fifths plus four and two fifths. Two fifths plus two fifths is four fifths. Seven plus four is eleven. So eleven and four fifths. Here we have eight and one sixth plus four and one sixth plus three and three sixths. Let's write it out, eight and one sixth, four and one sixth, and three and three sixths. All right, now we have one sixth plus one sixth plus three sixths, five sixths. Now we have eight plus four, which is 12, plus three more, which is 15. So 15 and 5 sixths. Here we have 8 and 1 sixth, 4 and 2 sixths, and 4 and 2 sixths. Let's add them together. 1 sixth plus 2 sixths is three sixths, plus two more is five sixths. Eight plus four is 12, plus four more is 16. 16 and five sixths. Fantastic work today, friends.